Hello, welcome to a lesson on how to read hands. Here we go. I sort of know what I'm doing. <laughs> how to read hands. Starting at the hand shape, we look at that first. We look at the fingers, the thumb shape, the mounts and the type of skin, and the lines and fingerprints. That's the best order to do your reading because the basics of the character needs to come out first before you make an analysis from the lines. So when you talk about the shape of the hand, we look at the shape of the palm first. You decide whether the palm is long and narrow or whether it's thick or whether it's square. Um, or oval shape. Then you look at the length of the fingers, whether they're short, long, thick or thin, and you do the same with the thumb. You decide what size the thumb is. If you saw my thumb reading, you'll realise that's a very important factor in reading hands. Hand thickness as well, because um, you may have an earth hand that's a small hand, um, or you may have a big earth hand. So they're two different personally. So Moving along, after you've decided on the shape of the hand, you go to the areas of the hand, which is the mounts and do any of them stand out and which of the mounts might be the weakest areas. So there may be a mount that protrude, protrudes more than the others. Like mine, you can see my mount of moon is quite big and uh, quite a big mount Pluto there as well. So look at the compare the lower part of the hand to the upper part of the hand. Um, do they have long fingers? Do they have a narrow palm or a wide palm? Do they have a balance between the body and the mind? Here we go. Next we go to the lines. Is the hand covered in many lines or do they just have only a couple of lines? and which of the major lines stand out the most. And you can focus on a specific line more if it seems to be the strongest line. You can talk about that line and the person will relate more on, um, on a mental or emotional level with you because you understand um, their nature. So also the minor lines. Not everyone has these minor lines, but if they have minor lines, which one stands out? And is there marks on the hand? Is there marks on the lines? Are there marks on the mounts? And that's very important. And lastly, we do need to look at the fingerprints. You may not know much about the fingerprints, but the least you can do is see if they're all the same. Um, if they are certain fingerprints that look unique, you have to look at now which finger does that print uh, belong and how does that affect the the nature of the person being on that specific finger. So I'll be doing more about the fingerprints in the future. I have already got one video out on how to find your passion and also if you are interested um, I talk about more about it in my book. Uh, all the lines available from my website or from amazon.com. That's all we have for today. I share that information and I look forward to you subscribing to my videos. Thanks. Bye.